Hello, folks. This is Jillian once again with DC Weddings with Jillian. It's good to come to you on a beautiful DC summer evening, although it feels like early fall here in DC. But I have with me today Elizabeth Carberry of Elizabeth Carberry Creative. And I am so excited to bring this fabulous creative person to you so that you can hear all about what she can do for your wedding. So without any further ado, hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. You are And you're right. It does feel like a weird fall summer. It's a fall summer day. Yeah. It's still got that humidity, but you can kind of see fall is coming. It's trying. Yes. It's trying. (laughs) Yes. A little early for me, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would agree. Indeed. Okay, my dear, I am excited about bringing you to our audience because I see how creative a spirit you are. And I just want you to, first off, just open up and tell us about who Elizabeth Carberry is and what Elizabeth Carberry (laughs) Creative can bring to the weddings here in the D.C. metro area. Yes. So that's a, a loaded question. Elizabeth Carberry. Who, who is Elizabeth Carberry? I am a creative spirit. I started with an art history background and I come into weddings and events through the lens of sort of an art aficionado and that art history and, and kind of more of on that side of things. So I started actually my path to wedding planning was a little bit unconventional. I started with sort of styling and creative direction. And a very good friend of mine who was a wedding planner hired me to assist with a styled shoot that they were doing and really just needed an extra set of hands. And she was just very impressed, loved what I kind of pulled together creatively. And things took off from there. She started hiring me for some of her weddings. And then, you know, from there, my career just kind of took off. It's definitely has kind of come in the back door, if you will. But Yes. So now Elizabeth Carberry Creative focuses on styling, creative direction, and weddings and life celebrations, birthday parties, et cetera. So we are constantly sort of working in within different creative avenues, but all sort of in the name of on the details and creating beautiful work for the client, whether it be a photo shoot or a wedding. As a person, I will say that I'm a mother of three, a wife, and a dog and wine lover. In my very little spare time, I am home with my family, usually sipping on a cold glass of wine and just kind of hanging out with my kids and kind of going through the mom life, if you will. (laughs) Fantastic. That sounds like a very full and fulfilling life for you and your family. That's wonderful. Yes. I would say so. You probably heard just moments ago my youngest coming in to peek at me. So never a dull moment around this house. <laughs> Indeed. But, but you know, it takes it takes us a special skill to work all of those angles in your life and still do it with that creative spirit. And I think that's what makes it work. I've been very intrigued, not just in talking with you and your website in terms of that creative spirit. You know, you speak of life celebrations. And one of the Mm -hmm. things we talk about here at Caribbean Caterers is we get to be in all of the special moments in people's lives. Yeah. And I I tell my, especially my wait staff and so on, you're in all their pictures. Their (laughs) children and grandchildren and great grandchildren may get to see you in a hundred years in their wedding pictures or their wedding pictures. (laughs) I tell my couples actually something similar sort of just about getting to know their vendors because, you know, I say that you have to like them because they're a part of something that's very intimate for you. Like your wedding day is, it's no small day. So if you're not building a a group, a, a team of people that you enjoy being around and, you know, you want to talk to and you are interested in, and that they show an interest in you, then you're picking the wrong vendors because, yeah. <laughs> you know, you have to have that connection with each of your vendors in order for your day to be successful. And to that end, your vendors sort of have to have that connection with each other too, right? Because at the end of the day, we're all a team that are 
you know, executing this beautiful wedding day. So yeah, so I think we have a similar mindset with that one because they can't get rid of us too easily. They've chosen us, right? Yes. <laughs> and, and you know, I am so glad you brought that up because we have people listening to us right now who are making decisions for their wedding. Yeah. yeah. And very often, this is the biggest event that they have planned so far in their lives. Right. They may yes. not have to hire this volume of vendors the research that needs to go on for their vendors. They're very often just picking on dollar amount rather than looking at the value for the dollar that they're getting and yes. what the end result is going to be, which we can't change once it's done. We don't get to do over. We don't get to fix something right. that we've done right. at your wedding. It's one time okay. we don't have a do over. And yep. so that's why it's so important to have someone like you at Elizabeth Carberry Creative involved with them to help them get to this place where they can pick a team that yep. not just your creative energy, but the entire creative energy for the event is coming together. So I really love and appreciate that about yeah. you and the vendors that you work with. Yeah, I read actually, it's it's kind of a timely thing that we just said, said that because a fellow um, planner uh, friend of mine posted something on Instagram today just about how it's so important for couples to pick their planner first so that they can have a foundation like sort of as a building block. I have so many instances and I could go on and on about couples that come to me after picking their venue or their caterer or their photographer and them kind of telling me that they regret the decision to pick those people. And, you know, there's nothing you can do at that point, right? You signed a contract and, you know, breaking a contract like that could, could cost you thousands. So, you know, it's so crucial to find the right people at the right time too. Um, and, you know, I think this is just a very timely thing because that, that note that my planner friend posted earlier today about you know, the planner sort of being the start of the building blocks, you know, was just really kind of stuck with me. I've been thinking a lot about it today. <laughs> yes. And it's not only just sticking with me now, but it's certainly something that we talk about in our office in terms of the difference between a couple who comes to us with a planner or mm -hmm. a couple that comes to us without a planner. Oh, They're, don't I know it. <laughs> mark, mark different. Mark um, yeah. Their stress level their understanding of what's going on and the product that they get at the end and yes. all in between is just so major. So thanks yep. for bringing to our audience because I think I have been preaching that now for decades. So it's uh, nice yeah. to see somebody <laughs> else and say, oh, you know, maybe she has a point. So Well, it's why I wanted to jump on because I, mm -hmm. you know, I saw, you know, all the great conversations, you know, with planners and clearly we're on the same page. <laughs> Indeed. Well, great. So let's talk more about you. You know, everybody now wants that Instagrammable event. I mean, people now just want yes. their, their dinner to be Instagrammable, right? Yes. So all as to something like their wedding, they want an Instagrammable event. And, you know, I don't know if I'm aging myself to talk about I dream of genie and wiggle my nose or Samantha or whomever. Okay. No, it I know happen. it well. Yeah, it doesn't happen because you snap your fingers and say, that's what I want. There's a lot that goes into the pie that makes that happen. So tell right. me, tell our guests a little bit about how you help them focus on their wedding, focus the philosophy of you doing weddings for your clients and what that could look like for them. Yeah. So I appreciate you asking because I think that it is something that sort of sets us apart in that we focus on, you know, w intimate, well-styled, well-executed weddings and events. And we are focused on couples that are looking for, like you said, that Instagram, you know, Pinterest, that vision, right? And make it Instagrammable, but on a budget. And, you know, that's where we come in to kind of merge those two, right? You don't have to spend a million dollars to have a wedding that looks good on paper, right? Or on Instagram. And so we really focus on that and we help, we guide our couples through the process from start to finish of, you know, managing their budget, managing the expectations and saying, you know, 
if you want this look, this is kind of where we're at, you know, financially. And, you know, we've been able to produce some gorgeous weddings that have been featured on, you know, in Brides, Washingtonian, Style Me Pretty, where their budgets were not very big. They were not, you know, six figure budgets. They were smaller budgets. They were smaller weddings, but we just used the money wisely to create the look that the client is going for. And we're really proud of that because in today's day and age, you know, with the Instagram and the Pinterest and the TikTok and all of the social media that presents these weddings that are so over the top, to be able to produce over the top looking weddings for less is something that we're proud to be able to do for our couples. And we really have had some great success doing it. Fantastic. I know our listeners will be very happy to hear that. You know, you have a quote on your website and I I actually have to go there because I find it so very interesting and I'd like you to expand expand on this for us. It says, we exist at the intersection of dreams and reality. And I know people come to us and tell us all that they've been dreaming about or (laughs) that they've been dreaming about something since they're three or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. to act to really actualize somebody's dreams and make an event that is not just Instagrammable, but something that their family would be proud of and proud to share with the most important people in their lives and so on. So I'd like you to tell me what that means to you and your company and and bringing to your clients. Yeah, so it goes back a little bit, like I said, to sort of merging what is possible for their vision on their budget, right? So the reality part of it is what they, ha- what, what their budget is, you know, what we're capable of with, you know, their venue or their catering or, or what, you know, within their vendor team or the time of year or, you know, all of the outside factors, right, is, is sort of the reality piece, right? And the dreams piece comes in with, like we said, sort of that Instagram, that Pinterest, and maybe even what they've been dreaming about since they were three, like you said, right? And merging those two things in a way that, doesn't cause their day to feel stressful or frustrated or lacking in the details that they hope for. It's a very fine balance. And, you know, in a lot of ways, you become sort of everything to these couples, right? You become part therapist, you know, part financial manager, you know, part stylist, part everything. And so, you know, that's kind of why I say we exist kind of at that intersection because where those two connect, right, there's a center point, right? If you cross two lines, there's a dot right there in the middle. And that's kind of where we're at, right? We're kind of bringing all of that to a point where they're feeling comfortable and excited and not stressed and just sort of rolling into their day feeling just excited and and just happy with anticipation for it to finally sort of all come together. And I think, you know, that's the exciting part for us is being kind of at that nexus and and watching it all and meticulously sort of navigating all of those details. That is absolutely brilliant. And I'll tell you what, (laughs) being in this profession now for several decades, one of the things that I realized people want but that they don't know that they want until they are not experiencing it at their wedding is that ease and comfort of rolling into their wedding without Mm -hmm. any stress, understanding that they have professionals that they can count on and that will produce what they've planned and that they can just sit back and enjoy that day and be present, be present in their wedding, be present for their guests, be present to remember their wedding. And I cannot tell you how many people will tell me after I don't remember my wedding. Somebody said that they were there at my (laughs) wedding and they spoke to me at my wedding and I didn't even know that they were there. And that's, to me, the travesty. But people don't realize how stressed they are in those months leading up and onto that day until it's actually there. So that's where I see the brilliance of what you said. It's You can look at your website and look at your actual events that you have done and know that you can deliver what you have said. In yep. terms of the detail, that Instagram, that Pinterest look, that exactly what the client wants. Yep. But that's some of it. It's yes. not all of it. How you enjoy that too is a major part. And so you putting all that together, that's why I said it's brilliant. Because yeah. I appreciate that. And, you know, I have to also say, excuse me, that we pride ourselves 
just as much on creating timelines and executing and, you know, sort of the logistics and the less fun, less pretty stuff as we do on the the pretty stuff. (laughs) So, you know, to us, a wedding day doesn't happen. Sure. It doesn't happen without, you know, the meaningful moments and the, the right music and the pretty flowers and, you know, the right dress, right? But it also doesn't happen if there's not proper vendor communication and timelines and, you know, everyone sort of working together as a team. And the person that truly keeps that, that you know, train moving is us. And so we pride ourselves on that as much as we pride ourselves on creating you know, the beautiful weddings and the meaningful moments because those don't happen without the other. That is fabulous. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I think that ties it up in a bowl really nicely. <laughs> and I can talk to you literally all day about this because it really <laughs> is in our wheelhouse because that's what we want our clients to experience. Yeah. And when someone comes to us, especially if they're coming without a coordinator, to impart that to them is almost impossible because if they're coming to me without a coordinator is because they haven't seen the value of yeah. a coordinator. And then when they do see the value, they're talking about the administrative side that you just spoke about, doing the timelines and the floor plans and the vendor contracts and stuff. Yes. I mean, mechanically, anyone can do that. You mm-hmm. can write a standard operating procedure for somebody who has a mind to get that stuff done and it will get right. done but that's not the essence of the thing right right and that's what you are bringing not just in the look but in the feeling and in the actual mm-hmm. uh, materializing and bringing it all together and I um hats off to you because I know that's uh, <laughs> uh, um it sounds simple it sounds lovely But I know it comes with a lot of experience, a lot of planning, a lot of patience. (laughs) I'm sure you can come up with all the other adjectives to tell me what you think. Patience, yep, it's high up there. Yeah, yeah. And again, you have to be the psychologist and you have to be the you have to be the sister friend and sometimes the mommy friend and sometimes the bad news bearer friend. (laughs) You know? Yes, that's the worst one. The bad news yes. bear is the worst one. Sometimes it happens, and it's better you hear it and you figure out how we can fix it long before you don't want to hear it on your wedding day or the day after. So, right. you know, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. It is almost a difficult task for me to put an end to this conversation because I know that there's so much more there. But we can I know, finish. I can't believe it. It flew by. It flew by. And I am getting some wrap-up signals from powers that be. And I'm like, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so we'll do a part two sometime. Part we two. should do a part yeah. two. <laughs> I know that our um, audience would love to hear from you again. And so um, we'll be in touch. And again, folks, this, this has been Elizabeth Carberry of Elizabeth Carberry Creative. And I have had the extreme pleasure of spending the last few minutes with her. And I hope she has been a pleasure to you as she has been to me. So thank you so thank much, you. Jillian, and we'll chat again. Thank you so much, Jillian. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome.